Cocoon Touch made a smart beginning. Fat Chance is right there. Molten and Bolted is on the left-hand side, but Tycoon Touch goes quick. Fire the Rockets in the pink. Burwood, the Black Blinkers and White Caps about two and a half, three lengths off them. Royal Roy is on the stand side from Proudest Punch, then King Protea and Warwick Adale. Tycoon Touch is going quickly as they approach the 500 metre marker. Fire the Rocket is back in second, then Fat Chance. Burwood with the White Cap, only two lengths to make up. Malted and Bolted is going through down the inside with King Protea. Towards the outside is Royal Roy. Coming down to the 300 metre marker, Tycoon Touch. Burwood's moving in, so is Fire the Rocket on the inside. Royal Roy towards the outside and Fat Chance. Down the inside, Malted and Bolted comes home at Fire the Rocket. On the outside, Royal Roy is running on strongly, but Malted and Bolted has won. Second, Royal Roy, third, Fire the Rocket, and then Burwood. So victory for number 11, Malted and Bolted. Second win from 10 outings, owned and trained by Des Ectors, the gelding by Right Approach, and Sean Veal. They end up winning it, showing on the toad, seven round a win, 220 a plays. So that's Malted and Bolted, Victoria, second to number nine, Royal Roy, third to Fire, the Rocket, fourth to Burwood, fifth placing will go to Tycoon Touch, then Fat Chance, Further back in the field, Warwick Adale. They were followed by King's Jet and then King Proteo. We take a look at the head-on. Burwood is with the Black Sleeves white cap. Winner on the extreme left-hand side, Molten and Bolted and Fire the Rocket. And Tycoon Touch with the yellow blinkers. Royal Royce coming on towards the outside. But victory for Molted and Bolted. And Molted and Bolted is victorious in the ninth and last race. And that is victory for the Des Egdis train. Race time, 57,32. Until tomorrow's Vodacom Durban July Gallops, Craig Peters signing off. Malted and Bolted has found his best form today, dropping right down in trip with the cheek pieces on. Looked to be the right move. He's been a horse that's perhaps over-raced and things haven't mapped out for him. Sheldon, 100%. Um, you know, we did think that it would be a touch sharp for him. Um, he's got ability, this horse. He's got talent. He's, he sort of lost his way. He came back. We tried him over 14 a mile, pulling hard, not settling. And credit to Sean Veal, you know, he was the one that said bring him back. Ideally, a, t a 1,200, six furlong is what we were looking for. But going through the program, there's absolutely nothing for this type of horse. Uh, the cheek pieces, the tongue tie definitely made a huge difference to him. You know, fighting in races, you know, with his tongue over the bit and things like that hasn't helped this horse. But full credit to Sean, he was the one that said back down the straight and we, we almost positive that this horse will win another one or two more. Judged on this performance, he definitely will. How's he to train at home? Is he an easy horse or he gives you a couple of anxious moments? You know, he's not too bad. He's, he can sort of overdo himself a little bit. And I think with the right riding, Sean's been working him. You know, he's settling the horse nicely, which is, you know, a big factor for a, for a horse to come races, uh, race day to be settled and not to be overdoing it. And, uh, you know, it's all going the right way. And let's hope it goes from strength to strength. Well done with the win. Thanks very much. Sean Veal, the winning pilot electing to drop down to the 1,000-meter trip, and he just wanted the speed to be on, and you are going to always look to pick them off late. You know, last time, I got him to set the last time, but last time he wouldn't go past the horse, you know, what ran third in the same race, but he wouldn't go past it, and he just kept running in behind. So I told Des, we tie his tongue down, and uh, because he was playing with his tongue a lot when I rode him last time. So I actually preferred the 1,200, but there was nothing for the horse, so Des said he's going to run him. So I said, perfect, you know, the speed will be on. And if you watch us work at home, last time in that strong field, I fancied him last time. But uh, we took it on the chin. We went back home and went to go redo the little bit of quirky things we need to do with him. And uh, he won a good race as us today. That's a nice thing when you get to give the feedback. You work them in the mornings. You can work together, give a little bit of advice, and it usually comes to the fore. You know, I'm just grateful, you know. Since I've been back from Mauritius, Des has been helping me a lot. He's given me most of his rides, so I'm grateful. And Duncan's been helping me too, you know with one or two of his rides because he's got his own jock. So uh, I'm just grateful, you know, I got to Ashburton three times a week, so it's, uh, it's, it's paying off. We'll keep a close eye on you in the next three to four weeks. I would have been happy with a double today, but we take one, you know, I got beat on another filly. I was quietly confident with her with the one draw today, but we got beat on the line, so we are just stiff, you know, but uh, I just want to dedicate this one to my wife. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, my love, and uh, just thanks to Des, you know, he owns this one also. Hopefully we get a present. Diamonds are a girl's best friend.
Ooh, women love <laughs> women love jewelry, so uh, this one can go towards that jewelry, you know. Well done, Sean. Thanks. Well, that's Malted and Bolted. The diamonds on the way there. Birthday wishes around. And number 11, Malted and Bolted, really sliced through up that inside running dale to round off today's proceedings. Tomorrow morning, Grable, Vodacom, Durban, July, Gallop, 7 o'clock. Get down to Grable. Otherwise, stay tuned to Teletrack, your world of winners. We'll chat to you in the morning.